before you view this video, I need to issue you a warning because things are going to get smashed and things are going to get hurt, maybe even feelings. But I want you to know that in this filming this video, no cinnamon rolls were hurt. They're doing just fine. They're okay. As a matter of fact, they're doing better than okay. <laughs> Let's do it. To open our cinnamon rolls, this calls for opening the top. Where is the top thing? Oh, right here. Never tell where that's at, right? <laughs> and then they say pop it. Oh, just like that. Look at that. First thing we're going to take out is our icing. I think we got enough there. If you want more icing? Super simple to make. Lots of videos out there on how to do it. These are some good sized cinnamon rolls, man. It didn't open all the way like I wanted it to, so we're gonna have to do some reconstructive surgery on these, I think. Oh, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, hmm, that's good though. But we can roll these up, no biggie. Our first casualty, we can rebuild it. Look at that. I should have done this for a living. Heck yeah. Let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Check it out. Right on. A couple of these do need a little help. Awesome. We got five. Now, the key to starting this whole process is we're going to use the Cuisinart, or some people call it the round blackstone, and it's going to require some butter. I'll be right back because I got to get some butter. And just like that, I'm back with butter. I just want to give that top of that blackstone a nice coating. The blackstone is at about 350 degrees. Right, we got a nice coating there. I'm going to need some wax paper for this operation. You can use parchment paper, that's fine. I just find wax paper works just a little better. Awesome. Hold it up a little bit. You'll notice that's perfect size. All right, let's start putting these on the black stuff the round black zone. Let's start putting these on the, the Cuisinart 360. Put our first one there. Gonna smash it down. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna bring you in on a close up on this because I think that's something you're gonna wanna see. I wanna melt that a little bit. Let's put these down. Give them some space because we're going to be doing some smashing. All right, you ready for this? Oh, that's smashed up. Look at that. Right on. Do another one. Smashed up. We're looking good. So these are just going to cook down. Smash them down again. I want to take this first one. I'm just going to move the icing off over there. And smash again. Perfect. We're going to let these cook for about, I don't know, about two and a half, three minutes on each side. And then we're going to flip them. Now, while these are going to town, another trick you can do is take that top lid and just Move your icing on top of it. 
You're not going to get any meltage yet. So these aren't going to be on very long. All right, I think it is time to flip the first one. Cuckoo, check it out. Perfect, check that out. Looks good. Heck yeah. Cool. I think our salmon rolls are done. Yes, sir, re Bob. That first one's coming off. Check it out. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. I think these are done. Those look amazing. Yes, sir. I think we're ready. Can you look at these? Perfect on the bottom. Golden on the bottom. No. Oh, yeah. These are gonna be good. Are you ready? Just take our, you look at that. Now, depending upon you, depending on how much you want when it comes to, well, cinnamon rolls have been iced. Look great. I think it's time to try one. Mm. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Do yourself a favor and make these. Go buy some cinnamon rolls, put them on your flat top, whether it be the Cuisinart 360 or Blackstone or whatever you got. Smash them down, cook them up. I don't know how long it takes in an oven, but it took about six minutes right here. And damn. <laughs> These have Christmas written all over them. Oh my God. If you're on keto, avoid it. There's another warning for you. All right. So how we made it. Super, super simple. If you try this at home, tell me how you did it. And what do you think about it? Good. About six minutes to cook this whole thing. All right, talk to you on the next episode. Merry Christmas. We'll see you soon. Take care.